Hey guys, it's Josh, your Saturday guy here on FTM Transformers. Um, sorry I wasn't here the past, like, month. Uh, my iPad was out getting fixed because I got a huge spider web crack in the screen. And so it was getting fixed. Um, but anyway, I'm back. Um... And this week we're talking about how you can support your trans sibling. Um, now, I do have a sister. So, I can kind of give examples on uh, how she supports me, I guess. And then I'm going to give some advice for like people who don't know how to help their siblings. Um, so, basically what my sister does is... Um, the basic stuff that can mean a lot to trans people, which is preferred name, preferred pronoun. Um, she gets it right every time. Sometimes she even forgets that I'm transgender. And that feels really nice that she forgets sometimes because that means she sees me as male and only as male. Um, and she doesn't think about what parts I have. Um, so that's nice. Um, so I'm just making sure that uh, you're respecting their name and pronoun preference. Another thing is if you go to the same school as them, standing up for them when they get bullied, or being there at meetings, um, if like the principal needs to have a meeting with your trans sibling, ask if you can sit in on it if it has to do with something with their transition. Um, help stand up for them with their rights and everything, such as bathroom usage and um, getting teachers to use their preferred name and pronouns, help educate the school and everything. Um, and if they're getting bullied and stuff, make sure that you go talk to somebody about that. Uh, that's what my sister did when she found out I was being bullied. She went right to the assistant principal and made sure she knew about it. Um, so those are some things you can do. Uh, if you have unaccepting parents, make sure you're extra supportive because your sibling needs that to know that somebody in the family supports them, loves them, accepts them. So if you don't have a supportive parent, make sure that you're there for them and they know that you're there for them because that's really important. Um, just let them know that you are there for them, that you accept them. You might not understand it be as much as you wish you could because you're not trans, but that you will try to understand your fullest, educate yourself, educate others, uh, be there for them if they, if they want you there when they get their first shot of testosterone. Um, if they go on testosterone, if they are gonna have surgery, uh, if they want you there, make sure that you show up for that if any, if there's any possible way that you can. Um, yeah, just make sure that you are there for them, accept them, and love them. Um, and, yeah, uh, don't just, don't treat them any differently. Uh, than you would any other sibling, and if you get, uh, if you get into arguments with them, this is a big one, if you get into arguments with them, don't use their birth name or their, um, or pronouns, uh, that they do not prefer, because that can be really harmful, uh, because I know siblings obviously get into arguments, but never use their uh, their birth name or their, uh, pronouns they don't prefer, uh, as an insult or against them in any way, because that, that's really detrimental. Um, so yeah, just be, be nice about it, accept them, and just let them know you're there for them. Especially if they don't have the support from their parents, because they need somebody in their family that accepts them. Um, so yeah, 
I guess that's all I have for this week. I'm glad to be back. And I'll talk to you guys next Saturday. Peace.